Pop Real 16 TV. It's Cousin P here back with another reaction. This time we're reacting to, for $500, act black in the most racist town in America. I'm not sure where that is, but I'm curious. So we're about to start the video in three, two, one, go. Video playing now. Tom Robinell moved in here. It took me nine years to know what he was. And I found that out on TV when they was trying to make trouble with him. What's good, y'all? Y'all keep begging me to do another Act Black video. So we came all the way to the most racist town in the whole United States to knock out this one. Big, big shout out to my dogs, Gideon and Nico. The Why videos is he dressed like Act that? Insane. But now it's time to put some Young Pootie P flavor into it. Let's go talk with the public. Let's go see what the fuck going on in the most racist town in America. It's Young Pootie P. Fuck Act black. Act black for a cash prize. What about the I have a dream speech by Martin Luther King? I guess I have a dream. Wait, I thought it was I'm not getting up. I don't know. That was Rosa Parks. I have a dream that all the white kids and black kids will hold hands one day walking down the street. So you come to the cookout, my brother? Yeah, so we come to the cookout. Yeah, we got the Kool-Aid and the fried chicken. The shoddies. Hey, y'all come out to the cookout tonight. We're going to have the Kool-Aid, the fried chicken, and the shoddies. Who was the baddest black celebrity? Me too. Sure. No. Oh, who's Will Smith's wife? Uh, the one that where he slapped Kevin Rock. Did you guys talk about gang shit? No lame shit. Act black. <laughs> that went over to start. <laughs> Have you ever been to Slap City? No. Okay. Probably been out of Harrison. Where's like one place where you like really want to go? Probably Memphis, cause like the barbecue. So you like a more of like a CMG Yo Gotti fan, or were you like low key more fucking with like Key Glock and them? Not a clue. How did Young Dolph touch you? Black. I'd rather not. Oh, I thought yeah, you were going to uh, bro. Gianna Trump. I fucked with, bro. Like, fuck Honestly, I've been speechless this whole time. This shit is crazy to me. Yo. Jalapeno. Wait, what? Yo. What is like a, a, a like stereotype then? I want to be honest. I don't know what a stereotype is. So stereotype, um, you know, your car radio. So I have bows in my car. So my stereotype is bows. But other radios might have like the Beats audio. Y'all niggas hire. Hmm? Are like y'all niggas hiring? Walmart, yeah. What's the like in word policy at work? Am I able to use it with like other people? Like let's say like it's my Bro, first day, right? And I'm like, hell? yo, what's up, my nigga? You trying to get these pants? Would that be? Would I get a raise? What's good, nigga? Bro, yo, this shit chicken and pants. Hey, like you think I that would get this sale? Most likely, yeah. Sell me these pants. Bro, you like motherfuckers like, like you? Do I look cool? I live in a town like this, kind of sort of, probably not this bad, but. Definitely not this bad. We got we got a decent black population. It's not like a whole bunch of us, but there's a lot more than there. But what I generally mean is, if you come to our town and you do this to white people, they gonna they gonna, they gonna be treating motherfuckers that actually live there fucked up. You know who Jeffrey Star is? I don't like so. Just based off that name, smash your pass. You look like Morgan Wallen. You got that before? Morgan Wallen? I could kind of see that. Bro, you look just like him. He never got, got that one more. The mustache. So you saying that he's cute, in other words? What? I mean, he's handsome. Long night with the boys. Club closed at 2 a.m. And it's 1.58. Morgan Wallen comes up to you and says, Would you let him give you a head? Give me what? Would you let him at least flick the little tip of it a little bit? No. Nah, but like, say, say if he like... Hey, bro. Thoughts on James Charles? Oh, no. I For a cash prize. Act black. What's cash prize? Yo, man, what's up? It's been a while. Not seeing you again. Morgan, I need you to put some bass in that voice, man. Yo, man. How you doing, man? It's been a while. Like what you've done with the dreads. Looking nice. Dude. <laughs> I like what you've done with the dreads. Yo, what's up, man? Been a while. I like what you've done with the dreads. Have you ever heard of why I say that? No. Would you like Cardi B sitting in your face? Be honest. No. No, nah, no, nah, be honest. Why not? No. I'm not. Is it too big? Now, guys, I'm not racist. But I like keeping... My genetics pure. No, I no, I I feel you. What but that sounded great. 
Ooh, that yeah, would, that'd be a hard one, man. She is pretty beautiful. But hey, no. Guys, How you doing? Uh, we don't allow anybody to record in the store. Wait, do you want to hold it for us then and be the camera? No, then? no we don't allow Oh, I, th I thought you was jealous because he was doing it. Can we just finish this up really quick? It's only going to take three more hours. Like I said, I'm not racist, but my dad, he, when my mom and dad divorced, he got with a woman and that usually ch mixed children don't come out right or brothers have right. C sections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the kid's too big. And there's more than just that. I kind of, I don't know, in a way, I kind of feel like that. In a way, too. Yeah. All my friends are white, you know? And I've, I've always, all right, well, if I grew up like that, keep it like it. Fuck yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? By me having that mindset in a way, is it wrong for me to try to hook up and have a kid with a white girl? What if it's like, all right, let's start a good strand of blacks? Because I'm a patron. I don't think it should happen. If it does, I mean, hey. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is the most racist town in America. Mmm. I don't know for sure. So we over here fully undercover mode, and uh, we trying to talk to people. But here's the thing that I keep missing on camera. Every time we stop at like a gas station or something, we always get compliments on our shirts and everything. My film got a Let's Go Brandon shirt on. But we was just in the car chilling, eating. Three dudes walked up, gave us the head nod, and showed us the thumbs up, pointing at our shirts. Just because we were wearing this, bro. Feels like I'm playing yeah. Grand Theft Auto, went into the garage after I had five stars. Right now, we finna head to Zinc, Arkansas right now. Zinc, Arkansas is Bro, this motherfucker can't, can't be far from, from us. I heard is Harrison, Arkansas. Arkansas. Harrison, I Arkansas, Arkansas ain't far. anybody over there that will act black. End of the road right now, and it's dirt, dude. It's a dirt road. I thought it was nah, bro. Nah, nigga. Bro. Nah, dog. Hey, get your phone out, nigga. Yeah, bro. Let's, let's fucking turn around, bro. This is a dirt road town, bro. Where the hanky pods? Should I talk to that dude over there? The, the dude? Yeah. yeah. What should I say? I have lived here all my life. When Tom Robinette moved in here, it took me nine years to know what he was. And I found that out on TV when they was trying to make trouble with him. They just said the, the leader, the Grand Wizard of the KKK lives in Zinc. Act black. My area of expertise That's is crazy. not black people, it's white people. Do you know who this is? Not a clue. Take a guess. Some fella in sunglasses. <laughs> what do you think he do for a like, living? If you had to flip a coin and it was like a billion dollars if you get it right and no dollars if you get it wrong, would you say that he does country music? Uh, I, I, but like, what about it is like, oh, like he's definitely not a country singer. I just can't see him in a pair of big overhauls with a banjo. <laughs> His Damn. name is Chief Keith. He's from 0600 Block. You ever heard of Chirac? See, we live in a modern world where our former white nations can't be white nations anymore. Any white neighborhoods can't be exclusively white anymore. Dude. I got enough problems around Dude. white people. I mean, right. they probably are Now imagine the same neighbor. thing, but had melanin in them. Holy fuck, right? You wouldn't want me as your neighbor? No. Nah. Have you ever heard of the Kodak Bop? Nope. I got a four five, the bitch got extra kid. Pop it up with it. I think I've seen something like that on a comedy show. Right. Am I your favorite black guy you ever met? No. Is there any African American in this world that you like more than a white person? Depends on both. Me? Or this white rock right here? Be honest. Don't lie to me. The rock. It serves a purpose. There's a lot of those little white rocks. We got a road. What if I move next door? <laughs> well, there's nothing I can legally do about it. Have you ever slept with a black girl? No. Keep it a buck. You ever like, would you ever sleep with a black girl? No. What's your type, by the way? I don't have any type. Like, what about it? Uh, to start with, I don't do that. Dre and Michelle. No. Would you let her sit on your face? Like, no. Like, you've never been, like, down bad 2 a.m. You damn near about to explode, and it's like, damn. You wouldn't even just let, like, Megan Stallion, like, low-key, like, like no. sit on you? No. I don't in indiscriminately chase everything. What do you usually uh, chase? Uh, yeah. uh, I usually chase a bag. Who's your favorite black icon? Damn. Rondo number nine. You ain't even gonna say Michael Jordan. Never heard of it. Five hundred thousand dollars or dinner with Jay Z. Five hundred thousand well, dollars. Of course, it's worth something. Yeah. Labor Day or Black History Month. Labor Day. If it was up to you, would you want all <laughs> black people gone? I wouldn't want to be around them. If you was to go to L.A., who would you second cool. with? I would not go to L.A. <laughs> you wouldn't be over there in like Slauson and like Crenshaw. Would you ever go to the Bronx? I wouldn't go back to any part of New York. Thoughts on Bronx Go, drill rap? Wait, hold on. Don't stop right there. T t ask him about New York. This nigga obviously is from a big city. None. Uh, I like classical music. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Oh, this shit is embarrassing, dog. He's really bopping his ass get flopped. Look. 
trash. You wouldn't go to like a concert with it or nothing? No. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm out of my element. Wheezy F, baby, and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if he says so. Who do you think was the best president in the last 20 years? Obama. Wow, really? He made everything racial overnight. <laughs> oh, shit, that took a motherfucking turn. So you said Obama <laughs> because you liked that he made it racial. Oh, yeah. So would you consider Obama the, like, goat? Goat? The greatest of all time? No. Do you think Obama did something that Tom Robb can't? Well... Come on now. Yeah. I don't like any president we've had in That's my life. Do you like Trump? No. Fuck, so I'm not I'm not like low key like dripping it off. <laughs> he didn't pardon the uh, January sixth people that were his people, but he did pardon a lot of rich people. He did yeah. pardon Kodak Black, and Kodak Black do be putting on for Broward. I don't like a traitor. Who was the greatest basketball player of all time? I have no idea. Just say Larry Bird, he's white. Uh, <laughs> Just say uh, who's the greatest rapper of all time? Come on, it I starts have not a clue. He, it, it's your favorite candy. Eminem? Never. Uh, I'm out of my element. He Who is this? Nigga don't give a fuck about none of that. You bitch ass niggas be hiding. We real head hunters, man. Bitch ass nigga, and you caught the kid and left in the hole and left. Don't have a clue. Don't have a clue. Nope. His name is Famous Dex. You ever heard of him? Nope. Do I look stupid? Be honest. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Dexter. You just showed me a dance move. Right. Let me show you one of my moves. I ain't gonna lie. Hold up, nigga. What the fuck was that? Hell no, I can't do that. Can you get sturdy? Sturdy? He can't even get sturdy. How many black people usually come through here today? Oh my god. None? Would you ever invite me over to have dinner? Oh no. What if a random white guy came and was like, No. I'm hungry. I get full. What if I want to bring you back to the hood just so you could get experience and then you could be like, oh shit, look at this jungle. I've been around the hood before. Okay. Didn't much like it. Now, when you was there, mm -hmm. did you kind of consider yourself like hood nigga? No, I was passing through. I made a wrong turn coming down here and went through Memphrica. Memphrica? Memphis, Africa. Did you ever go to Africa? For what? To see all the great blacks. All right, we gonna end this video right here. Go ahead and continue to like, subscribe, and share. Continue to fuck with me. I do appreciate you watching. That was some racist shit. Bye.